Hey, Compose enthusiasts! Let's talk about Compose Previews, the delightful tool in Android Studio that enables making and testing UI code changes live, without relying or waiting for full builds. Today, I've got a few delightful tips up my sleeves that will transform your preview game and make sure you're getting the most out of them. Let's kick things off with the different modes baked right into Compose Previews in Studio. You can find them by clicking on the menu icon dot 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 right next to each preview title. First up, Interactive Mode. You can actually click buttons, type in text fields, and see your Composable React in real time in the preview window. No more deploying just to see if that clickable is set properly. Next, Animation Preview. If you have some slick animations in your UI, instead of replaying them on a device over and over, you can scroll through them, loop, and inspect every single frame. Use the Animation Preview option to fine-tune those delightful micro-interactions. Now, for a bit of delightful pixel perfection, there's UI Check Mode. This mode helps you verify layouts, check for accessibility issues like contrast ratios, Think of it as your QI advisor that will audit and highlight potential issues with your UI. And sometimes you just need to see your composable on an actual device or emulator, but without building the entire app. Say hello to Run Preview. You can send a specific app preview directly to your connected device or emulator. This is super handy for testing on different screen sizes or with a device-specific feature. Beyond the modes, the preview surface itself is packed with nifty actions to streamline your workflow. For the same composable, we automatically group them into headers, so you can easily collapse and uncollapse them to focus on what you're currently working on. This keeps your preview panel organized and easy to navigate. Previews are also great for co-navigation. Simply double-click on the composable in the preview. Android Studio will jump to the corresponding line of code. If you need to look at a specific part of the preview, you can also use Zoom to Selection via right-click to perfectly frame the component you're interested in. There are also some coding best practices and tips that you can follow to boost your previews and make them even more helpful. Now, a common question I get is, how do I preview composables that depend on a view model? Directly instantiating view models in your previews isn't ideal, or even possible at times, because they might have complex dependencies or trigger unsupported operations like network operations. So if you want to preview a composable that uses a view model, you should create another composable variation with each parameter from the view model passed as individual argument of that composable. This way, you don't need the view model. Very often, a need arises where you must pass a large data set to your Compose preview. In this case, when you want to preview multiple states easily, use the app preview parameter annotation with it preview parameter provider. This lets you define a class that provides different sets of sample data to your preview. This way, your previews remain fast, reliable, and truly representative of how your UI will look with different data states. In this case, I'm showing an example with a news card with the news item preview parameter provider to easily create previews with the appropriate sample data. All right, this last one is my absolute favorite. Imagine a new developer joining your team. Instead of them having to hunt through the code base or run the app multiple times to see all the standard UI components, your buttons, cards, dialogues in all their different states, locales, themes, they can just open a single file and see them all at a glance in the preview panel. You create this component sticker sheet by using multiple app preview functions, each showcasing a specific component or a specific state of a component. You can use the grouping feature we talked about earlier to keep it organized by component type. This is an incredibly powerful way to document your UI library visually, speed up onboarding, and make it easier for designers and developers to be on the same page. So there you have it. 
from Android Studio preview modes like interactive and UI check to handy actions like grouping composables and navigating to code, and even using previews as a component sticker sheet. I hope these composed preview tips can make your development experience smoother, faster, and way more delightful. Happy previewing, everyone.